What is up everybody, my name is Sir MC Coy, and welcome to week 8 of our Steelers franchise. This week's challenge is the Oakland Raiders. Last week we barely escaped with a win against the Baltimore Ravens. It was a rough game, we had flaws all over, but eventually defense and offense was able to step up and we ended up pulling that game out. But we did lose Jarvis Jones, he has a dislocated hip, he will be out for 7 weeks. He has started out such a hot season for his rookie and we're playing the Raiders which is a nice break. They don't have any injuries, but they've just been having a rough season. Just another typical Raiders season, unfortunately, for them. Darren McFadden has not started. He has only seen three carries all season. For some reason, Rashad Jennings is the starter over him. I'm not sure what inspired them to make that decision, but it is what it is. So Darren McFadden is basically looking like he will be a free agent next year regardless because Rashad Jennings has gotten the starting position over him. So, instead of Darren McFadden, we have to game plan for Rashad Jennings, and he's out here now as the Oakland Raiders offense starts, but it's going to be Terrell Pryor dropping back, and now he's sliding out of the pocket, and he has got plenty of space, a first down and more, sliding down after a 19-yard game for Terrell Pryor. So 19 yards on the first play, we've got to contain that. Play action now, Terrell Pryor is all day going deep downfield and has Denarius Moore wide open into Pittsburgh territory. That is 29 yards and a first down. So far, two big plays for Oakland. Pryor dropping back, and he's hit and sacked. Cameron Hayward gets into the backfield. We're able to stop that momentum. Third and 17 now. Pryor dropping back. We only rush four. Protection's good. Looking deep back, and he just throws it out of the back of the end zone. Terrell Pryor, that pass did not have a chance. So Sebastian Janikowski comes out for the field. Well, he's Mr. Reliable, but on this one, Kicks it off the uprights. Sebastian Janikowski normally has a wicked leg. That was just a 51 yarder. Out comes Ben Roethlisberger. Now it has been a rough season for him. Nine touchdowns, but 12 interceptions. Hasn't been pretty so far. So first and 10, he goes downfield. Heath Miller wide open. Two men miss from behind, 25 yards. Both teams start out with big plays on their opening drive. Third and nine. Screen out to Le'Veon Bell. A man somehow misses. He was just running beside him. First down for Pittsburgh, Le'Veon Bell comes in on the screen. Now Ellington in, play action to him. Roethlisberger sliding right, protection downfield, has Heath Miller and he's tackled inside the five, call it the three yard line. Pittsburgh into the red zone for the first time. Roethlisberger sliding right, throws off his back foot on the run and he has Matt Spath, the touchdown machine. He has two catches this year and both of them are for touchdowns. So what we like to see out of our backup tight ends. 7-0 Pittsburgh, Raiders take over looking to answer, Pryor looks to rush, he's got nowhere to go, Jamal Westerman with the sack, he's filling in for Jarvis Jones, Pryor now going downfield on third down, what a catch by Jacoby Ford along the sideline, nice play of 19 yards, first and 10 play action for Pryor, downfield again, almost intercepted, Byron Maxwell dropped that one, it was in his hands. Third and seven, now Pryor looks to take off, man misses, and he can't put the move on Vince Williams, who's looking to try and spin, I think. Vince Williams made a play. First and ten, Ellington with the ball, slips past one and takes a hard hit from Rob Ninkovich. It's been tough running so far for Ellington early. Second and nine, Roethlisberger downfield, has Brown wide open, jukes out one defender in his tackle from behind, so 19 yards for Brown, his first reception of the day. Felix Jones now in, and he has got nowhere to go. He's lucky he got back to the line of scrimmage on that play. Second and ten. Now the handoff will go to Bell on this play. He's got three yards. Lamar Houston was able to come across and make that tackle. Rothsburg on third and seven. Slides out of the pocket. Looks deep downfield and it's intercepted by Tyvon Branch. He couldn't get any float on that. If he could have put it over his head, Brown would have had a decent chance at that. Throw on the run. Intercepted by Tyvon Branch. And it's Raiders ball. They've got some momentum now going in their favor as they start from their own 27. Prior back to pass, he has Rod Streeter. First down for Oakland on the very first play of their drive. First and 10 now again. Handoff will go to Jennings outside. Has a little bit of space now. Call it six yards for Rashad Jennings. Third and four now. Terrell Pryor. They haven't converted very well at all today. Going deep downfield, and it's intercepted! Shamarco Thomas, the rookie, his second interception of the year. He is doing a great job filling in for Ryan Clark. And it, this keeps up. He just might take Ryan Clark's job. Great play there by Shamarco Thomas. Pittsburgh will start deep in their own three as time ticks out in the first, and it's Ellington to the right side. He has space. Jukes out a defender, and he's still going! A 33-yard rush for Andre Ellington. Finally, he finds space. 
We go into the second. Now it's 7 0 Pittsburgh. Roethlisberger dropping back to pass. Has Sanders wide open on the right side. Nice to see Sanders getting involved. He's had a very unproductive year in his contract here. First and 10 going deep, and Tyvon Branch was all over Antonio Brown. He could not make that tackle as Branch was just draped over him. Second down and 10 now. Roethlisberger will hand it off to Ellington, who slips one. He's able to get seven yards there. Andre Ellington finally starting to get some positive yards on the ground. Third and three, Spath in motion. Handoff will go to Bell. Trying to fight forward, but Lamar Houston is there to tackle them. They're bringing out the chains. And let's see. And he will be just short. Good job by the refs there to bring out the chains. Oakland takes over now. We do get the field goal. It is now 10-0 and downfield. Oh, Ike Taylor. There's the Ike Taylor we love and hate at the same time. Just another failed interception. He had two in the first two weeks, but just hasn't had any since. He's had the opportunities, but none have converted. So third and seven now. Prior to more, he can't hold on in traffic. So three and out for Oakland. It's Pittsburgh ball now as we start at our own two-yard line. The handoff will go to Ellington. Great job. Block pick up there. He's able to get us out of the back of the end zone. That's nine yards. Second and one. Bell's out there on the field now. And Roethlisberger is sacked. They rush two up the middle. Burnett finally got to him. Two came free. Now it's third and eight. You've got to be careful here. Roethlisberger out of the back of his end zone. He just threw it out of bounds. Didn't have any chance. So Pittsburgh will go three and out. And McBride is out to punt. Lining up at the very back of his end zone. Punt will go deep to the dangerously fast Jacoby Ford. Takes it across midfield, makes a man miss, sheds one. He's down at the 36-yard line, so good field position for Oakland to start. They're already in field goal range, assuming Janikowski can hit this one. Handoff will go to Jennings, and Jason Worlds is there waiting for him. He makes the tackle. Third and seven now for Oakland. Trying to stop him again. Pryor dropping back. Looks left side, overthrows his man. Janikowski will kick the field goal. It is now 10-3 Steelers. They hold a 7-point lead. And on the first play, it's a deep pass out to Antonio Brown. He's got space across midfield. Finally shoved out of bounds at the 31-yard line. He got so wide open. Huge play for Pittsburgh as they are into Oakland territory. First, first and 10, and it's Ellington going right side. He sheds one, breaks another. He managed to get 8 yards there. Great job on the run by Andre Ellington. First down now, just outside of the red zone. Roethlisberger, great blocks picked up. Throws it into the back of the end zone. He threw that jump ball, and Branch was in that vicinity again. He's dropped two interceptions now. Second and ten, handoff to Ellington. Weaving his way through traffic and tackled from behind by Woodson. He'll be down at the three-yard line. First and goal now, Roethlisberger. Sliding right, pressure's coming. Makes a throw off his back foot, completes it to Ellington, but he'll be tackled one yard short. Those are the kind of plays that we know and love out of Ben Roethlisberger. And on first down, there is Le'Veon Bell pounding it into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Le'Veon Bell, the rookie, getting those goal line plays, and he's converting on him. He's a bigger back, and so we put him in there in those good situations that he fits very well. First and 10, Rod Streeter makes his second catch of the game. He's able to get a first down. First and ten, Pryor sends a man in motion and now drops back. Has great protection in the pocket. Looking deep downfield, throws it into double coverage and it's intercepted by Cortez Allen. He's got some space along the sideline. Jukes out one man across midfield and is shoved out of bounds by Terrell Pryor. who threw his second interception right there. That was just a bad, bad decision. First and ten, Pittsburgh now. They've got a chance to extend their lead and put this game... Out of reach almost before half. And there's Ben Roethlisberger taking off. And he dove head first. That is not something you see often anymore out of Ben Roethlisberger. First and ten now. He's got Heath Miller. Two big plays in a row. They've got back-to-back -back first downs. And they are driving. And as you can see, Ben has just dominated in this game. Which is great to see. He's He had a rough outing last week. He was pulled early. Now second and ten. Handoff will go right side to Ellington. He's able to stay on his feet. But not much yards for Ellington other than that big completion. Third and five now. Roethlisberger dropping back. Looking deep and he overthrew his man Brown who is starting to get open. So fourth and five. They settle for another field goal. But it is 20 to three now with little more than a minute. Prior back to pass has all the time in the world. Lobbed to Jacoby Ford and he's got a catch. So they're going to run the hurry up though. Terrell Pryor 
Dropping back again. Has all the time in the world still. Sliding around in the pocket. Throws it off his back foot. Wide open is Jacoby Ford again. He will be down at the 23-yard line. A huge play. This team's finally looking like they're getting some momentum going in their favor. Second and 10 now. Pryor looks downfield. And oh, Shamarco Thomas just dropped what should have been an easy interception. Third and 10 now. Pryor. Trying back to pass. The pressure's coming. And it's Diesel. Brett Kiesel with the sack. You don't see that man get too many of them. But the beard gets into the backfield. And they settle for a field goal. And that will be our score going into half. Pittsburgh has just been dominating. It's still a two-touchdown game. 26 Pittsburgh leads into the half. Welcome back to the second half. Pittsburgh, a dominant performance in the first half. And they're going to look to reproduce that. In Oakland, they have just got to get something together. They have not had much offense, only managing two field goals, and they missed one. So this could be an 11-point game, but as it is, it is a two-possession game. And Pittsburgh does start out with the football. They're facing an early third down and 10, trying to prevent going three and out. Roethlisberger drops back to pass. Looking downfield, he has Emmanuel Sanders, his second catch. This is his first game this season. He's had two catches in a game. He's been very unproductive, just... Dropping passes are just not being open. Roethlisberger sliding out, going downfield. What a catch by Emmanuel Sanders! Those are the kind of catches and plays we have got to see out of him if he wants to make our roster. What a play, second and nine now. Roethlisberger has all the time in the world deep. There's Emmanuel Sanders again. This has been his drive. Why? Where has this Emmanuel Sanders been all year? He's holding on to passes. He's getting open. First and goal, they'll hand it off to Ellington, and he's tackled just short. I thought he was in. They're going to call him short. Second and goal now. Le'Veon Bell's out there, and he drives it in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. His second of the game. And they're just adding on, and that dance is not going to make the fans too happy about that. 27-6 now. Pittsburgh's lead has become quite commanding now. It's now Oakland hands off to Rashad Jennings. That's the most daylight he's seen all day. He got 10 yards on that. Otherwise, he's at 6 for 15. It has been rough on the ground for him. First and 10 again to Jennings. And there is Lawrence Timmons, one of our fastest linebackers. He's just got such good speed. It makes him so good in the run stop and in coverage. And that's why he's our best linebacker. Second and 11 now. Streeter wrapped up and tackled by Byron Maxwell. He will be short, so third and inches. Michael Rivera comes into the backfield. And Vince Williams lights up Rashad Jennings in the backfield. He loses two, and they do not convert. Such an obvious run situation, and the Steelers are ready for it. Pittsburgh ball now in downfield is Marcus Wheaton. He sheds one tackle across midfield. Marcus Wheaton, a huge 35-yard reception. That's his first of the day. We haven't seen much out of him. First and 10. Now Roethlisberger looking deep. Charles Woodson, the sly veteran, undercuts it. The full safety turned corner, turned full safety again with the interception. He has had such a great career in the NFL. And there is Lawrence Timmons again in the backfield. Rashad Jennings just hasn't had much hope, and you've got to wonder, will Darren McFadden see any playing time? And Jamal Pryor is hit and sacked from behind. Balls on the ground, and Jamal Westerman picks it up and takes it into the end zone. His first game as a starter, he has a sack, a fumble recovery, and a touchdown. Great game by him so far. And so Oakland has to come back after that embarrassing display. And there's Westerman in the backfield stopping Jennings. But third and six now. Terrell Pryor, he's going to look to take off. What a move around Lawrence Timmons. And he has got space. Terrell Pryor, a nice rush there. 22 yards. He's at least making it look like they're still trying. But they are down in such a huge 28-point hole with not much time left in this game. They're almost into the fourth. So now third and 11. Pryor dropping back. Looking downfield, he has Denarius Moore, but not enough space and a huge hit by Vince Williams. They've got to be passing past the first down marker. Pittsburgh will take over again, and Ellington will rush. That'll basically be the end of the third, and I brought in the backups for the fourth. This is an obvious win. There's just no point in getting anyone injured. And so the backups are in. We get to see what they can do. And there's Felix Jones losing three on third down. So now out comes their offense, and it's Rashad Jennings with a run. He has a bit of space, six yards. Second and four now. Terrell Pryor, play action. And he just missed his receiver, threw it way behind him. Third and four now. Pryor dropping back. 
Looks to take off. He's got the first down yardage and slides forward. First down for Oakland. They have not converted on too many of those. Second and 11 now prior. Dropping back to pass. Sliding right. Looking downfield. What a dangerous throw, but Jacoby Ford somehow came up with it. That is a throw that you should not ever make with the defender right there. Regardless, it's third and one prior. Oh, and Shamarco Thomas. That could have been a pick six if he would have gone for the interception, but he got the hand in there. Fourth and one now for Oakland. Pryor, he's going to keep it in. Hebron, Frank Gupo, what a hit. The big man gets to him. He was ready for it. Pittsburgh will take over. They're just going to look to kill off some clock as TJ Yates is out there at quarterback. And a nice pass there to Derek Moy, his first reception of today's game. Second and seven. Yates dropping back, sets up the screen to Jones. He has nowhere to go. Yates barely got that pass off. Now third and 11, Spath going in motion. Play action, Yates. Downfield, wide open is Marcus Wheaton. Into the red zone, another huge reception for him. He is the number one receiver out there at, with the backups. And a nice reception and a nice route run there. First and 10. Yates is going to hand it off to Felix Jones, and he runs into Lamar Houston. He has been doing a great job on the run stop to that left side. Has made it hard to run that way, so now we're going to run it right. Le'Veon Bell follows blockers. He is in for his third touchdown of the game. Le'Veon Bell has been on fire today. Three touchdowns. What a game for Le'Veon Bell. He's been perfect in the red zone for us. First and ten. Oakland, they're just trying to save some face. Put up some points or something. Make it not look as ugly. And Mike Rivera does not have anywhere to go after that catch. Now he's exchanging word with the defender. There's not much trash that can be talked right now. Third and six. Pryor dropping back. Looking deep downfield. Intercepted by Antoine Blake. The sixth corner on our depth chart. And Terrell Pryor makes the tackle at the 15. These fans aren't very happy. First and ten. Bell. Hands off the right side. He's got five more yards. I'm just surprised there's even fans here at this point. Third and seven. Yates. He's just going to toss it out to Felix Jones. They're not trying for a first down. So, they don't get the yards. They settle for another field goal. 44 to 6. This is embarrassing. Pryor, gonna try and take off, but William Gay is there waiting. He had nowhere to go. A squad of Steelers was in his wake. Second and 14. Pryor dropping back. He's gonna try and take off, and now Hebron Van Gupo again. He doesn't tackle people, he just runs into them. Huge play there. Third and 19. This is. This has gotten ugly. Pryor. Dropping back, and he throws it out of bounds. This is, that's basically the end of the game, but I'm going to fast forward. A little bit of bad clock management, and this play right here just about describes Oakland's game. Jacoby Ford waves for the fair catch, and yeah, you guessed it. It bounced off his hand while he was waving for the fair catch. I just, I just couldn't help laughing at this. This is... This just basically describes everything that happened to the Raiders this game. Just such an ugly... Just horrible game for them. Our team just played perfectly. Our backups even came in and dominated their offense and defense. And there it is one more time. Just off the forearm. And that's going to mark the end of this game. This was this was quite the game. 44-6. to six, Our team was flawless. Two interceptions on Roethlisberger's part. But they didn't really come back to hurt us. And Jamal Westerman gets player of the game. His first game is a start. He has looked very good when backing up. And now even in a starting position he's looked good. He's in a contract year. He will almost definitely see a contract for us, depending on what he's asking for. But now we're looking forward to probably our toughest opponent this year, the 5-3 and three Patriots. And this is going to be an interesting game. After that last game, I'm really considering messing around with the sliders. We're 6-1. and one. Not to say I'm happy with that, but at the same time, I, I don't know. I feel like things might need to be tweaked a little bit. So I'm probably going to play this game first as a test. Or I'm just going to play a random game with the new sliders. Just going to try them out, see what it's like. Or maybe I might not even test them. I might just throw in the new sliders and go right into this game against the Patriots. Because if I do get blown out or if I lose to the Patriots, I'm not going to feel extremely bad about it. Because I know the Patriots overall are a really good team. So next week is going to be a little up in the air. Probably a new slider set. So be looking forward to that. So if you like this video, please remember to like, leave a comment on any team suggestions or any suggestions with this series. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'll see you next week.